Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Bull Metal Nerd coming at you with a quick video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about, um, you know, HD tracks, the sound of music, how to get the better sound and sound out of music, all that. A little bit about high-res audio. These are all things that I've, I realize that I've covered them before. Uh, but what led me to make this video was pure curiosity. Um, I was perusing uh, one of the websites that I peruse most days. Um, talks about music, and sometimes they link to free downloads of said music, right? Um, and this happened to link to uh, the HD tracks version of this album, which is Dream Theater's self-titled 2013 album. Um, HD Tracks, I believe, is the first uh, site to offer high-res downloads. If they're not the first, they're definitely one of the first. They're similar to Pono and a lot of the other services. They offer uh, 96, uh, 96,000 kilohertz, 24-bit downloads. Um, so I downloaded said file and uh, ABXed it with the retail release and it was really easy to tell the difference between the uh, high-res version and the retail version but not for the reason you think it's because they are entirely different masterings uh, the retail release was much louder uh, total different mastering so you know if you have different ma two different masterings it's gonna be easy to tell them apart so what I decided to do at that point is I down converted the um, HD track to good old 320 kilobit, good old MP3, and then I ABXed those, and I did two trials of 10 runs each, and on my first trial, I was able to tell the difference 5 out of 10 times, then on the second trial, 4 out of 10 times. So statistically, I could not tell the difference between the high-res version and a 320 kilobit per second MP3. Of course, your mileage might may vary, but maybe I'm deaf, who knows. So anyway, again, that just kind of reconfirmed uh, what I've long suspected that HD audio, or I'm sorry, high-res audio is not really worth uh, the, the file space, or definitely the money in this case. Um, and the reason I did, did this comparison is all of the high-res audio I've heard up to this point was just kind of esoteric audio file stuff. To put it charitably, the type of music most people don't really listen to, um, I was just listening, you know, trying to, to, to see if I could hear a difference, but this was something much more commercial, and I'm like, well, maybe, you know, let's see if there's anything to it with a much more commercial type of thing and no there isn't so yeah if you just listen to the hd tracks version of something and you're like holy shit it sounds so fucking different it's because it's a different mastering more than likely okay uh because what the labels will do is they're like oh well audio files might want this mastering and oh, we'll just give everybody else the louder shittier mastering i don't know if that's kind of what it is but that's kind of what i suspect that it is um the uh the um now and there's a big there's a difference in price too the uh now i went to hd tracks website looked it up this album cost twenty dollars and 99 cents to download 21 bucks um i looked on amazon and the cd is currently 16.99 17 bucks so you get the physical item for less than the download which you know whatever i still think 17 dollars is a bit steep for a cd in 2015 considering you know you can download stuff for free but whatever it's still in my opinion a better value um i didn't pay 17 dollars for it i think i paid 10 bucks for it or something at best buy uh, you know a year or two ago whenever the heck i bought it but um anyway one thing i did notice even on the hd track download version even though it wasn't as loud as the retail version it still sounded rather harsh in some places and that's of course due to the loudness wars even though it wasn't as loud it was still too harsh, you know, in some spots for my ears, and that's just, again, due to the goddamn loudness wars. And uh, Dream Theater was not always like this. On this album, for example, 1992's uh, Images and Words. Okay, now granted, that's albums, you know, more than 20 years old, but n the early, like, the early 90s, in my opinion, at least early to mid-90s, are almost kind of the golden age of digital recording, uh, at least sound of albums, because... 
You know, they had basically really perfected digital recording by this time. They really knew how to work with it and really knew how to make it sound great. And they did this before they started fucking upping the the volume for the loudness wars. This is, you know, so whatever. That's really how we get better sound out of music. It's not through gigantic file buckets for capturing frequencies that you can't hear. It's from better goddamn mastering. And I really wish that would happen. Um, maybe what we need to do is organize some sort of campaign where we contact the labels or whatever and say, give us better sounding out. I don't know if that'll do any good or not. They'll be just like, oh, yeah, maybe it's worth a shot. But anyway, um, I'm done talking about this. Let me know in the comments below uh, if you've downloaded any stuff from HD Tracks or wherever. If you've heard a difference or not, you know, and be honest with yourself. If you've downconverted it to, say, you know, 320 kilobit MP3 of the same file... And then tell me if you can still hear the difference. Anyway, if you did like what you see, as always, please, thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.